Hey guys, this is Poverty, and I wanted to demonstrate some design stuff. Uh, the difference between like Minecraft, which is rather straightforward and easy to get into, and Landmark, which is co unnecessarily complex and not easy to get into. So that's what this video is. Sorry for making it uh, really long. I kind of ramble on and on, but there's a lot of things wrong with Landmark that I want to demonstrate. So with that, uh, hopefully you enjoy. And that's it. I will uh, hope you enjoy. Hey guys, uh, I'd like to talk, to talk to you about design for a moment. I started a brand new uh, Minecraft world real quick. And there's no tutorial here. I had to go to YouTube when I first started playing Minecraft just to find out how to... You know, I, I had no idea what the game was about, and I had to watch YouTube tutorials until it actually intrigued me to the point where I'm like, hey, that's challenging, that looks fun, that looks exciting. Because most of the time what I saw was like, meh, this is academic stuff, it's not that enjoyable. But after a while of watching, I'm like, ooh, ooh this is some good stuff. So... Obviously, start off by doing the basic stuff here. And what I'm going to do is demonstrate this game first versus Landmark. Landmark is not a Sony product anymore. It's, uh, that's interesting. Uh, Sony has stopped making EverQuest next. And they gave up on it. So Landmark was their open world design, much like Minecraft was. So it took a little while of watching videos to pick up on this. You make your little sticks, you make your little wood, and voila. You make your little axe. And you get going. You start digging in even faster and everything needs to start with this. So it took YouTube videos to get this going. But now that you've gotten going, you can just switch to build mode and start play, placing things down and building what you need to. This is as... Oh, that's interesting. This is how you start building in Minecraft. So you could just as easily start making your little mud hut. Let's get a shovel going, shall we? Try not to waste too much time on this because I want to keep this simple and short. But this is vanilla version, Minecraft. So you just start digging and you gather up some resources and you switch over based on where it is on your inventory. Let's put this down on the control thing. And now you make your you start making your little mud hut. Got your little window. Voila. And you keep building as you see fit. Yay, I have a home. I have a home. So it doesn't take too much to start building within Minecraft. It doesn't take too much time to start fighting things in Minecraft. Uh, it doesn't take much time to start making a garden or a farm in Minecraft very simple very straightforward and the graphics is very simple and very straightforward it's wrong bacon it's right bacon and this is the draw of minecraft it's simple it's straightforward it's yet very very deep i mean if you want different minerals you have to just dig deeper and hope to god you don't dig yourself into a lava pit so it takes time, and it's adventurous, and it's fun. So now let's compare this to Landmark. Catch you in a second. And here we are with Landmark. Start out on a concrete plate. Uh, you cannot create new worlds, but you, you know I've already been playing this for uh, three and a half hours just to figure it out. And you go out here and no tutorials. So you probably have to do the whole YouTube thing again. 
but then again, you know, how would you hear about this? Probably through, you know, uh, friends that play it. Maybe, uh, you, maybe uh, you're out looking for EverQuest to see what's going on, or Sony. Uh, so you, you'd have to find tutorials on this. Or just start clicking. So it's like, okay, well, what's this? Can I mine? No. Can I fight? No. So you're clicking all sorts of different things. I'm like, okay, that that's cute. Inventory. Okay, how do I set my pickaxe to uh, do the mining? Is there any charts down here? I don't know. Maybe I don't see it. Let's minimize it. What's this? Q. Q, 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 Q. Q doesn't work. Check that out. Q does not work. So it takes a while of just clicking all sorts of different things. Like, what's this? You have one message. Oh, that's nice. I'll read it later. Friends, obviously, don't have any. You just started. What's this? Goals. What's this? And you just have to keep clicking on things until you find out. It's like adventure gear. Uh, okay. I need how much for that? Uh, okay. How do I get more of that? I don't know. So you got this nice little compass up here. The design side for this is like Minecraft, there's no tutorials. With Minecraft, you keep trying new things and you watch YouTube videos. This one, uh, I haven't looked for YouTube videos because this is a complex game. Everything should be within a complex game. It's not a simple game. So, once you click that, then you've got your tools. Um, it never, I know for sure that the founder's pickaxe is both a pickaxe and an axe. So I don't have to have two different tools. Without it, I would have to have the two different tools and I have to switch back and forth. But that's something that, you know, when I first played this game, it, it literally, it took me forever before I realized that this was my starter axe as well as my starter pickaxe. I didn't have to do two different weapons. Therefore, if this is a complex game, it really needs to have tutorials. Otherwise, it's it's a waste. So obviously, uh, the first thing I knew how to do, I had to go out and get resources. Did, did it tell me I had to go out and get resources? No! No, it didn't. It didn't say anything. It didn't explain anything. And you just had to just get going. <clears throat> and this is one of those games where you just grab a beer and you drink for a while and you mine all the shiny little things and hopefully it's going to be useful. What's it used for? Eh, don't know. I really don't know. So it took a while to realize, okay, where do I have to go for all this stuff is like underground. It's, uh, it's this little device here. Uh, far seeker resource sense. And I don't know why I have it. This used to be an advanced thing where you get a device and do a little probe, you know, a, a, con uh, a pulse out, and it would last for about a minute. And it shows you where everything is and what color it is, and you have to figure it out. Well, it turns out that this little damn thing up here, you have to go to the spire. And there used to be tons and tons and tons and tons of tools and all sorts of things. You get your pickaxe, you get your axe, you get your scythe. Um, I think that was it. Um, now there's only this one device. You get your mailbox, you get your specialty pickup stuff, and this one device. So they have simplified it down a lot. <clears throat> How much wood do you cut? Let's, let's craft it all. How much cut stone do you have? None. Smelted metal. Well, I got tons of smelted metal, but uh, you get the idea. And then once you get this, then you can go back to a very small little area. It's actually kind of rather big. Um, so, you know, you saw that three clicks to get there. As opposed to click on it, you have one plot of land, you just go. So it's currently in edit mode, but it never tells you that. That's what this little thing is. Switch to edit mode. Switch to edit mode. Once we're in edit mode, 
where's our edit tools um, you have to click on your tools again to switch it out not very intuitive it doesn't have to be this complex yet it is this complex so you get all these different designs of things let's click on the things that we can build so what we're doing here all right is dropping pre-made stuff and it pulls the resources out of your inventory there we go duels okay I don't know what this is for but that's not crafting that's just copy and paste it that's not very enjoyable and it takes a while you just have to click on everything every goddamn thing to figure things out no. why is that not working so one of the things I've discovered is you've got your old crafting tools see if I can find it here storage and crafting I'm like oh my god once I get this going I can have more crafting tools than the spire okay I get it well here's your crafting tools how does it work left click nothing right click move move duplicate send inventory and recycle that's not how you move it everything else is the same way you can only right click on it well maybe I need to set to play mode switch to play mode left click left click nothing right click move doesn't do any good right click move and tweak hello computer and now I can scale it or move it accordingly so now we've got this damn thing floating uh, how does this work it worked at the spire why can't I make it work so the game is very non-intuitive do I have to switch to this mode and click it or is this just nothing more than a prop so the game is complex it's I'd say it's confusing because it's like, well, if those are my crafting tools, why can't I craft with them? Um, <clears throat> and all you have is goals, like achievements. And that's all you've got. And you read it, and you click on a million things just to figure things out. And it's like, okay, it's rather... Chest F. That's nice. What about sitting? Nope. What if I click on it? What if I click on it? Move or tweak, and it keeps opening up the chest. I can't sit on the chair. The game is complex, and it needs to have a tutorial. Otherwise, this shit is uh, just annoying. Only those that have played for years will actually understand how to build and craft. Like, one of my thoughts was like, well, if I've got such a big area... I want a river running through the middle, and I want two different mountains on either side, and a lovely bridge to cross the, the, the gap, and then my city's on top, and then my crafting area's underneath. So that it's kind of like, you know, I don't know, cool? A and you can't. You, you just can't. How do you place down dirt? Uh, like this? But you have to choose terrain, dirt. What type of dirt do I want? What about dragging and dropping? Nope. You're just dropping one. Well, what about this? What does this do? Uh, okay. That's good. That's good. Let's do this, shall we? Left click, right click, nothing. Um, uh, left click, drag and drop? Nope. So there really needs to be a tutorial here, because this is absolutely asinine. How do you build with it? Well, I don't know. Let's see what everyone else has done. Oh, look. That's just a basic template. It's part of the tutorial where you just grab... Dink. And these are uh, cookie cutters. Come on. 
and it just pulls from your inventory the material and drops it into your area. And I'm like, you can only design and craft within your area. So you're basically caged in. Um, furniture. Let's let's do this, shall we? Cannot place props while build site is what? Build site is in play mode. Switch to edit. How did I drop that if I was not in edit mode? Yeah. Uh, here we go. How do I make this? Don't know. Stone, shrew, common, ice, glacier, wood, ceramics. Oh, lovely. I can just make a plague of square boxes. There's no tutorial here. And there really needs to be. If you're going to get this complex, you need a tutorial. It's nice that people pre-made stuff, but all these other structures around me is other people uh, taking pre-made structures and just dropping it into the world. Voila. Did I make that? No. I just copied and pasted. And as long as you've got the minerals, this one just takes uh, plain cut wood, you can drop it in. So rock and dirt. Oh, look. They made the exact same thing as everyone else. It's just a template, a copy-paste template. Oh look, they made 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 a copy-paste template. So the creativity is dead. There is no tutorial. And it's just like, do you really want to do it one block at a time to make these massive structures? <clears throat> So anyways, uh, the design of Landmark, hey, it looks great, right? They've got a lot of glitches, um, but it looks great, but there's a lot they need to design from someone coming in for the first time. You don't just dive in and say, here's your, here's your axe, good luck. You really need to have tutorials. And I'm just harping on this. That every last one, like tower, 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 tower. No one has figured out how to build. And I'm like, this may just mean that, you know, hey, this is a 1% game. Only 1% of the population will figure it out. Uh, this person hasn't even figured it out. Their plot of land is empty. See, they look like they did something over here. But either way, you get the idea. It's so frustrating and so clunky that people... There's another blank one. And another blank one. That most people don't follow through with it at all. They decide that it's too stupid and they move on. This is how you get rid of your customers. So, when it comes to design... Take in consideration someone who's playing the game for the very first time. There needs to be a gradual curve, and you need to step people through it. Um, unless, well, Minecraft is a hell of an exception. I learned about Minecraft after just watching uh, Paul Source Jr. for multiple videos. and like, you know what? I could do better than him. And I bought the game, and I just had some good time. Uh, still having good time. There's times I just craved Minecraft. Uh, there's some reminiscent things that was fun on this. But for now, they've taken so much out of this game that it's not fun anymore. And it's not intuitive. Uh, the, the designing tools are there, but they're still clunky. So yay! Sapphires. Let's look at loot. Yep, I'm getting sapphires. Uh, it's a val valuable rock, but is it worth anything in this game? I have no clue. Over here we've got some tin. I think it's tin. Is it tin? There we go. Yeah, I now have tin. There's copper. Um, how do I make bronze? I mix, I mix them, but none of my tools will let me mix. So all the tools on my property are just for looks and feels. There's only one at the 
Spire, and that one only gives you limited stuff. So I don't know if there's anything beyond this or not, but it just feels like they've taken this and removed a lot of stuff and then switched out a few others. <clears throat> so obviously people are just copy-paste the same thing over and over and over again. It's not even... I mean, look at the gap between this. They place this backwards because here's the stairs that go up into the castle, and here's the castle. So they had the wall backwards. But why did they have to place this down before they realized how to do it? And then once you're in, it's just the exact same thing that everyone else has. This is not impressive. This does not help creativity. And this is supposed to be a sandbox. That you copy and paste, and it appears. It's very... I don't know. Uh, it, it kills people's creativity. So everyone's lot, you can see, is pretty much the exact same thing. Over and over as they go through the achievements, if they can figure out the achievement. And there's nothing special here. I mean, this clearly shows that the game has uh, not done what it needed to to help out players. So anyways, when it comes to design, tutorials are amazing. You have to have a tutorial realm where you teach people how to play. Really, you have to do that. Um, otherwise, um, it's a waste. And I'm sure it's like, oh, it's a new game. It's still in beta. Uh, World of Warcraft has been out for over 10 years, and it's still in beta. Uh, it has a tutorial. It actually has a tutorial city where it steps you through one step at a time, which is absolutely wonderful. This game doesn't have that. So they need to start working on some polish. Don't know what they're doing. I'm sure there's tons and tons of fighting stuff. But the plot of land is not meant for building. It's meant for building dungeons to drop off uh, monsters and everything else. Um, but it's apparently complex enough that people copy and paste what they need to, get a few check marks done on their achievements, and then they quit the game. Uh, this is killing the game. So this is what you don't do. Anyways, that's it. Um, sorry for rambling on. This has been poverty, and I'll catch you guys later.